Hello everyone, welcome you all to the Achieve Asada. So guys, if you are for the first time over here, you can subscribe to this channel and uh, do not forget to join in our Telegram group and various social media platform. All the links are given in the description and don't forget to download our mobile app which is Achieve Asada 24 by 7 from the Google Play Store or the link given in the description so that you can able to uh, see many videos which are there for the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce and the course also going on for the both papers of UGC net examination. Here uh, UGC net paper 1 new concept series. So today's concept is that constructivist learning approach 5E model. So this is a question which is appeared in June 2023 exam and December 2022 and even 2022 merge cycle of examination also this question is there. So most important topic, listen to very short video. So you will understand the concept. It will give you a two marks if it repeats again in the upcoming examination. Right? Let's get started towards a concept. What do you mean by constructivism? Constructivism meaning. Here, constructivism means creating our own. Here, building their own understanding of any idea is called as in constructivism. So, constructing a building means, so by making a basement and foundation, we will be constructing the floors. Like that, constructing a knowledge, we are constructing our own knowledge, we are constructing our idea, or about a certain concept, we are trying to develop our understanding, we are trying to build our understanding, that's called as a constructivism. So, Jean Piggott and uh, Alana Duckworth, George Hain, Howard Gardner, are the four important author with respect to constructivism. They have explored the areas of constructivism in depth. That is why cognit uh, Jean Piggott cognitive development theory is part of the co uh, constructivism theories only. So, here there was a biological science curriculum study, BSCS, biological science curriculum study, BSCS. So, a team of whose principal investigator is that Roger Bybee. Roger Bybee is a principal investigator and they developed this instructional model of constructivism which includes a 5E, 5E model which is developed by Roger Bybee and authors related to constructivism are Jean Piggott, Duckworth, George Hay, Howard Gardner, specifically 5E model is given by Roger Bybee, three important points. Right now what are the 5E, let us try to understand, 5E includes 5e engage engage explore engage explore explain elaborate and evaluate engage explore explain elaborate evaluate these are the five in the same sequence you need to understand 5 is in the same sequence in same way you need to understand. Engagement first. What do you mean by engagement in constructivism knowledge? So when we are constructing the idea, when, when we are understanding anything, we need to create an interest first. For, so for a student, we need to uh, make them interest in classroom. So by attracting or by our presentation, by a flowchart form, first we need to create a curiosity in the student. When we are teaching, for the student it should be interesting. So that they will be engaged slowly, slowly into that particular concept understanding. And we need to stimulate their mind with their previous knowledge. Acha, you might have learned this in your previous classes or in your undergraduation, in your class 11 and 12. Like that, we need to recall their knowledge in their mind. Like that, they can come and in create an interest in understanding of that particular concept when a teacher is explained. So your teacher role is that teacher will ask, uh, types of triangle. Suppose if I take the mathematics example, draw and labels types of triangle and differentiate the different different types of triangle. So they learned in the previous classes. That is why they, now they are in a position to recall them easily. So in that way, whatever known to them, we are we engage them first initial stage in understanding. After that, explore to practically link the previous knowledge whatever they learned to the present topic which we are discussing. So, the triangle and the types of triangle is a previous topic which they learn. Now, teacher will guide how to draw the triangle, how to draw the triangle and teacher will also guide the sides, uh, triangle sides measurement how to do. 
So to explain that measurements and all the angles, how many degrees will be there, everything will be explained and the formulas related to that one. To explain that present topic, they link the types of triangle and what is triangle, previous knowledge that they learn. So now students started discovering, students started exploring more and more what they don't know. What they know is previous knowledge. Now what they wanted to know is a present knowledge which they are working. Now they started exploring deeper knowledge. After that explain, explanation, to confirm the student the newly acquired knowledge, whatever the misconceptions or the misunderstanding regarding this particular triangle concept will be removed in the explanation. Teacher will explain properly the new concept, how to measure the triangle, what are the sides of the triangle and how many, how much, how many degrees of angle will be there in each side of the triangle. Like that we are trying to clarify and explain the concept. Teacher will be giving a detailed explanation of the findings or the concept related to it. Right? Teacher will be also using the new terminology where the student will be adopting slowly, slowly, slowly. New terminology and if any misunderstanding is there for the students, that will be removed by the teacher here. So that will be explained in the third step. In fourth step, elaboration. Elaboration means to solidify the student's understanding means a uh, teacher will guide the student to carry out additional activities. Now you learn this angles, you learn the measures and the sides, how it will be measured, everything is explained to them. Now teacher will guide them to carry out additional activities. Apart from this, whatever they explain, whatever they learn, they will try to apply with a, some practical problem or the question. Or the, uh, if you repeat the same and uh, repeat the same again and again, again and again, how many angles? So, right angle will be having 90 degrees. Again and again, if you repeat, then the knowledge will get registered. Understanding will be developed automatically. Right? So, finally, evaluation. To reflect upon the learning. So, whether students understood whatever teacher explained or not. Finally, evaluating. Judgment. So, to assess the student understanding and progress. To identify the areas and difficulty and provide the remedy. Provide the remedy to them. So, if they well understood, they will answer for your question in effective way. You, will, you have to ask the question. Suppose now I am teaching a concept, after that I will give you one question. If you are answering my question, you understood my lecture very well. If you are not answering my question, you have not understood very well. So, I need to remove your problem, why you are not understanding. So, what is the solution for that? How can I improvise your performance? Based on the evaluation, by, giving a, by conducting a test or by asking a oral question, I will be able to understand. When the student is able to solve the question given by the teacher, they are well understood. When they are not in a position to solve the question given by the teacher, then they have not understood. They need to practice again, again, again to solve the ex uh, by the continuous exercise only, they can get to with the concept. So, engaging, exploring, explaining, elaborating and evaluating. These are the 5E model of a constructive learning approach in a sequence. This is a June 2023 and December 2022 examination uh, question in one of the shift of paper 1. So, arrange the 5 phases of constructivist learning in a sequence. Pause the video for a minute this. Answer the question by yourself. After a minute, I will also explain. Explore, elaborate, evaluate, explain and engage. What is the correct answer? The sequence is also mentioned. They are asking in a sequence. That is why I told sequence is most and most and most important. So now sequence you need to identify. We know that explore. Explore. So explore is the second, sorry. Engage is the first one, right? Engage. And explore. Third one, I'll explain. Fourth one, elaborate. Elaborate. And fifth one, evaluate. Right? These are the five E's. So, engage first. E will be first. And after that, explore second. Explain third. Elaborate fourth. Evaluate fifth. Right? So, here E, A, D, B, C. 
E, A, D, B, C. Option 4 will be the appropriate answer. You can see here I summarized entire thing. Engage, explore, explain, elaborate, evaluate. That's it guys. Simple concept. Very easy. Here in the first two stages, they are in the surface learning stage. In the third stage, they are going into the deep of the concept. In the fourth stage elaboration, they are going beyond the deep, transfer the learning into practical, activity based learning. From that, finally, they settled with a knowledge, proper understanding of the knowledge is here. So, with this feedback will be going into the teacher. Feedback will be there to the teacher here in this. All right. So, that's how the concept will work. And uh, most important concept, please, if you like it, please do share with your friends. And uh, if you want to Join in our UG Senator JR of December 2023 Arjuna batch. Our upcoming courses, whenever you are watching this video, you can download our Achievers at that 24 by 7 learning app. You can watch the demos in this YouTube channel. And if you like our learning, if you like our teaching, then you can join into our full revision with a chart wise presentation of paper 1 and paper 2. Full length charts, proper explanation. And after each and every unit, full length chart wise revision presentation, then you will have a topic wise previous year questions of June exam recently all the 24 shifts, December exam as well as previous two previous exam. So many shifts of exams are happening. So this will be equally useful for K set, G set, W A set also. So you can join into this combo course if you belong to commerce. If you not belong to commerce, paper one also alone is available. Paper one alone is 3500 but we are offering at a 2500 only. Three months validity will be there. Right? And both put together, it will be a 7,000, but we are offering at a 4,500 only. So, you can just take the course, complete revision of the chart, paper 1, paper 2, commerce, topic-wise previous year questions of both papers, and all the PDF will be accessible for the lifetime. If you miss the live session, recording will be available, and also MR questions uh, will be solved on daily basis. Once a session is completed for ongoing topic, 15 to 20 questions of ongoing topic session will be uh, quizzes will get added for there. So you can just 10 to 15 question daily practice means it will improvise your performance. Mock test also will be added CBT interface mock test with explanation it will get added. So you can also have a poll and leaderboard option guys in the courses. If you are interested do not get late do join into our uh, course as early as possible and you can use the code Arjuna for both paper to get this price Arjuna code at the uh, payment gateway at apply coupon page and if you want paper one only Arjuna one is the code you need to apply right thank you so much bye to all have a great day please do share with your friends